Welcome back to Late to the Party. We got a pretty exciting episode. I've never seen any of this content before in my life, so I'm incredibly excited to play the DLC Not a Hero in Resident Evil 7. And let me tell you, right off the bat, it gets crazy. Hilarious. Is it ready? Can we begin? Oh shit. It's the brother. Man, I can't help it, man. We've got work to do. Lucas. Do I play as Lucas? No way, right? Oh shit, this is after. That's right. Chris, did we lose him? No, no. Ethan Winters has been secured. He's alive and well considering. And Lucas Baker? Right now, he's our only link to the connections. He's next on my list. Chris doesn't look very like Chris in this, if I'm being honest. Like Resident Evil 5? No, Resident Evil 6, Chris. Looks the same as Resident Evil 8, Chris. Resident Evil 7, Chris, does not look the same as Resident Evil 8. And what's going to be really sick is I pre-ordered the PS5 Pro. Because I just want to... I'm not going to get right. a PC for I'm a little. Mine. Signal strong. You're coming through loud and clear, Chris. We didn't get much from the first unit before we lost contact. But apparently Lucas turned the mine into his own personal hideout. How many men did we lose? Three of our best. Their last transmission was near a lab that should be just ahead. I'm going to need you to check it out. Got it. Uh, what I was saying was... Oh, hell yeah. Um, I ordered... I pre-ordered the PS5 Pro. And they're gonna update Resident Evil 8 with 120 FPS. And... The PS5 Pro is actually going to be able to handle those types of things and smoother gameplay, stuff like that. I really thought, like, you know, I can just sell my old PS5 and just pay for the upgrade because I'm probably going to have it for a while. Who knows when I'll get a PC, unless this starts blowing up somehow. But... I figured it's going to be a big upgrade for you guys being able to see a quality difference. So I'm curious when I do get it, which will be after this DLC, we can see what kind of a difference there is in quality and everything. Okay, so what do I have, by the way? letter regarding umbrella goals for many of you this is your first mission with us so we wanted to make it clear what umbrella is all about though many of our staff hail from the infamous pharmaceutical giant umbrella our purpose is to make amends for the atrocities perpetrated under the umbrella name that is why we reincorporated it as a pmc in 2007 we will put a stop to not only anyone who is engineering or selling bioweapons but those who support their efforts as well we made a mess and now we have to clean it up by keeping the umbrella name, we show that we take responsibility for that mess, and we want you to remember that you carry that responsibility with you in every mission. Interesting. I was really wondering about that, honestly. Because <clears throat> I was like, is Chris a bad guy then? Because I was confused. I, don't, I didn't think he was ever a bad guy. Um. Ooh, let's see this one. Operation Lurking Fear, so that must be what we're doing right now. Primary mission, extract Lucas Baker, so we're not supposed to kill him. Location, Dolphy, Louisiana, USA, Baker Estate. Is that a real place? Dolphy? Threat profile, molded, alpha variant. Others, anti-personal traps, lethal and non. Notes, due to the lack of intelligence and the number of unknown factors involved, Chris Redfield of the BSAA will act as a bioweapon specialist on missions. Oh, so he's... What's the BSAA? Do we know about them? 
Location update. Recent intel has confirmed that Lucas Baker is a holdup in the mines near the Baker estate. Profile Lucas Baker. Suspected associate of criminal organization. The connections. Role unconfirmed. Holds vital intel regarding said organization. That's cool. I, I don't know anything about this DLC if I'm being honest. Like, I don't know anything about this or the Zoe one that we might also do. And this is incredible like i had no idea there was this much extra story I've, I've never heard of the connections profile the connections criminal organization producing bioweapons for sale on the international black market limited intel on size market share and members they are the prime suspects indicated in the production and distribution of the e-series bioweapon e-series model evelyn is present and active at the baker stake estate lucas baker seems to be monitoring her and reporting on her activities does that mean that Mia was a part of the connections? Because she was, like, carrying Evelyn, like, being her handler or whatever. Med injector, fast-acting medicine that on injector restores some health. Okay, cool. Interesting. We just got a ton of new lore. So, glad I looked in there. But I'm very excited for the PS5 Pro. I know a lot of people are probably going to say in the comments that that's stupid, but hey, I think I'm going to enjoy myself. You can punch enemies when they stagger? How? I love how Chad, like Chris, comes in here and he's like... Okay, didn't punch that guy, but all right, whatever. Why is there nothing around? Like, why haven't we been able to pick up anything? I guess this is probably a pretty easy DLC for them to make since they're literally just remapping, like, part of something that was already there. Oh, okay. Shit. Whoa, I have a ton of ammo for this. Holy. Yo, this thing's sick. What the hell? I had no idea. The lab is just ahead. Any idea what Lucas is up to down here? We're still analyzing the data, but it looks like he's been running experiments with an E-type mutamycete. Let's hope those men haven't become a part of those experiments. So... I wonder how Lucas even got this connection, though. Maybe Evelyn told him about it? I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is definitely after Ethan, because look at all the damage we did here. Bro, this is sick. I'm actually very happy with this so far. Even with the remapping of, you know, like, oh, we're just gonna keep the same exact place you've been to before. Whatever. I don't really care that much. I did blow up a bomb here. I wonder if I wouldn't have done that in the regular game if it would have, like, still been there or not. Because we should be on the lookout for him planting things like that. I wouldn't doubt that he has it everywhere. Oh, shit. I'm getting you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking out of here. I got news for you. What? That's not gonna happen. Oh shit, that was Lucas. I would do that if I were you. <laughs> Shoot. Now you can try and take that off all you want, but I'd advise against. My hand might slip and. Lucas! Uh... No! Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> now here's the deal, Chris. You don't follow me, and I don't bounce your head off the ceiling. Oh, and the same goes for your little soldier brains, too. Adios. Uh, Mood chachos. 
I'm gonna be honest, that was a uh, very intense. That's crazy. Oh shit. I'm picking up airborne spores. It's the E-type mutamycete. Your mask will switch automatically to rebreather mode. Keep an eye on your oxygen tank to be safe. Oh shit. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. So I gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, thank Looks God. Like you're clear of any contamination. You should head back and get that bomb on your arm deactivated. There's no time. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Understood. Just be careful. Nice, so I just got like another one of these. Sick. I'm definitely going back in here. What, you thought I was just gonna... Like this game doesn't know who I am. Your oxygen tank is at fifty percent. Thanks. All right, one more look. Kind of silly. Like, this whole new group of things that I have to worry about is different. Like, oh, I have to worry about my oxygen levels instead. Okay, I really don't think there's anything in here. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. I think I got everything, which was just that injector. So let's keep going. Okay, so the next area is also contaminated. That's good to know. Let's go for it. Am I gonna be able to get out of here? Oh shit! Thank God. Chris, we finished analyzing the data we intercepted from Lucas. It's like we thought the son of a bitch has been sending status reports on Evie to the connections. Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Are you sure you just don't want to recruit him? <sighs> Chris, we've been over this. Maybe the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. Oh shit! Working with Umbrella is gonna take some getting used to on my part. Okay, so he's not a part of it. And to tell the truth. Members have been with us since even before we reincorporated as a PMC. About all that's left now is the name. Let's just focus on the mission and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back. Okay? Sure, whatever. Okay, that makes me feel better because I feel like it's still same old, same old umbrella type shit, right? Like, for sure, right? Hope I didn't miss anything back there. Because it won't let me go back. Damn, that sucks. Okay, that make, that does make me feel way better, though. That Chris isn't, like, really a part of it, you know? Because I still feel they're going to be fucking fishy, bro. We know them. We know how they are. We know what they do. Take it. This is very odd, though. Hell yeah, I got an antique coin. I can get the uh, Magnum. I don't know. If you haven't seen the full of Resident Evil 7, go ahead and watch that. But literally what happened is I was one antique coin away 
from being able to afford the Magnum. So I never got it. I wonder if I can get it over here or something. Like if I can get it here. Oh, <gasps> yes, I got my coins too. Yes. Attack coin. Universal coin. Probably leave the letters, right? Instinct. Fighting instincts. Defense coin. Alright, I think that's good. Pretty cool with that. Leaves enough space. Man, that's sick. All right, cool. I mean, we're at a new section. We haven't seen this part of the mine, I don't think. So, ooh, don't want to hit that yet. That looks like it's going to start a chain of events. I'm really wondering, though, if we're going to play the Zoe one or not. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Because I'm not entirely sure if I want to play the Zoe uh, DLC. So, it partially probably depends on how well this does. Because I might get really excited and I might really want to play Resident Evil 8. Because, you know, big story game with a new PS5 Pro. That would be pretty sick. I would be very happy. Oh shit, okay. They don't stack, so I don't have them from the previous. Damn. That sucks. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Increase max health indefinitely. Reloading speed increases indefinitely. Grenade will take it. I know I'm definitely going to get clowned for the PS5 Pro meat riding, but I'm excited. I've just always been a PlayStation junkie, so. And I know I'm not going to be able to probably afford a PC for a little bit, for a couple years maybe. I got two kids, man. Okay, so I don't have night vision there. What is that? Is that a keyhole? I think that's a keyhole, right? Okay. What is all this? Oh shit. Someone someone there? You okay in there? Field. Don't worry. I'm gonna find a key to this thing and get you out of there. Mm. Excited to have quality that I know isn't gonna be the same as a PC necessarily, but at least a step up from what I have. I have the OG PS5. I don't have a slim or anything, so it should be a pretty significant upgrade, I feel like. For me at least. So I'm excited. Sorry if you guys think that sucks, but I never bought a PS4 Pro or anything either. I never really bought slim versions of anything, honestly. I always just kept, like, whatever I initially bought until the next one comes out, like the next big one. So this is a first for me. Key. Okay. Which is that a key for, though? Is that a key for the guy? And obviously, this is a trap. Um, is that a key for the guy? Or... Oh, first off... I'll lure them back here. Is there noise back here? Also, what is this door? 
Oh, that's the elevator. I forgot we had to use an elevator to get down here. Is there anything cool over here? Is this like giving me a hint on something? No, I don't think so. Alright, cool. I do like having the pistol out because it obviously is going to shoot farther than the shotgun. So I think I should maybe just keep this one out. Oh shit, more? Really? Oh shit, okay. I'd say that was a pretty good grenade. Ooh, boy. Everybody? Damn. I did pretty good there. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, cool. We got some neuro stun grenades. Not even just regular ones. A hand grenade that releases a paralyzing gas that stuns nearby enemies. Cool. You can't use it as is. Okay, so I need a wheel of sorts. Yo, this knife is sick, too. Damn. I like that. All right, cool. Let's see. Because I obviously had to run through here pretty quick. Just got to make sure I'm not missing everything, anything. I didn't go this direction. Hell yeah, another one. See? Got to do it. All about that shmoney. Hell yeah. Just really looking around is your best friend in these games. Like, I know some people might think that's boring, but honestly, it's kind of fun. Fun finding just random things that are super helpful for you. I enjoy it at least. All right, this one needs a key, too. Bro, I need a key for everything. Uh, all right, word. What's the game's obsession with keys, brother? There's a crank. Official crank. All right, here we go. Now I get it. It needs something else. What? Can't I just shoot it down? Nah, that should have got it. Okay, so it's forcing me to go somewhere else or find something else. There it is. Nice, another grenade. I feel like that grenade was super helpful too. I just realized. This ought to do it. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Tell me what I'm looking at. I have no idea. It's 
shit. Oh, damn. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm so worried. Maybe this? What am I supposed to do, bro? Am I not doing something that I should be? Uh, bro, am I just supposed to get the key and run? I probably am, right? Am I an idiot? I'm just an idiot. I was supposed to run that whole time. Bro, I used so much ammo. That's what I get. Damn, I used like all my grenades. Whoa, dude, that was one of the biggest fumbles. Damn. That sucks. Means we gotta be particular now. Means we actually have to care about ammo. I should have known to just leave. But I've, I'm not the type of person, like, I always fight in these games. I My first instinct is to always fight. Everything's all right now. That's just what he wants you to think. I'm just a bait, and you fell for it. What? Oh, shit. Take the filter on my mask. Hurry. But you'll die! I'm dead either way. <laughs> Frank, Chris. Just watch and learn. Focus! No! <laughs> So what did that do? Your contamination filter has been upgraded. Oh, nice. So I can actually go through everything again. Cool, cool. Okay, cool. That makes me happy. Because I was worried that, like, I obviously ran very quickly through most of those other things. I wanted to make sure that I could actually... That tells me that there's definitely extra stuff that I must have missed then. The hell is that? The hell is any of this, honestly? This is some wild ass shit. I can't believe he did this. Like, I mean, I can believe he did it for sure, but. Now what though? to get my hands on that asshole. Just remember, we need him alive, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I think we're good on everything else. All right. Let's see. Still don't have anything for any of that. 
Let's find the three missing soldiers. Okay. I still don't think I have everything yet. Hmm. Let's see if it'll let me go this way now. No. So now what though? I don't have the key anymore. Where am I going? Is this all new? Did I just not go through this? What the hell? Okay, cool. This is crazy. There's a million locks. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter now. Nice. This is great. We can finally look around in peace. Well, I mean, until somebody comes to kill me. whatever that is. I think that's what I was supposed to do, is I'm supposed to, like, kill him like that and then run away, maybe? Right? Man, I hope I'm doing the right thing here. guys again. Holy shit, dude. I'm just trying to run through now. Because I'm worried. But I've been trying to, like, look around, too, to see if I see anything, and I really haven't. Yo, I'm finding lots of stuff. Yes. Anti-regen ammo, ramrods. These rapid-acting 
mycetotoxic rounds, or ramrods for short, have been developed specifically for combat against fungus-based bioweapons. The bullets excrete a toxin on impact that not only rapidly destroys fungal cell membranes, but also prevents regeneration of lost tissue. One shot will allow for normal methods of attack to gain effect thereafter. Finally. Really needed that night vision. This device adds night vision functionality to the Umbrella HMD system. The device uses image intensification to help the user see better in low light environments. It also allows the user to see light rays not visible to the naked eye, such as infrared beams. That's interesting. So that tells me that I can see new things in general, not just in the dark. Sick. Totally worth just pushing through and hoping for the best, honestly. All right, we gotta put one of these on. Cause we're gonna have to start blasting, I'm sure. Oh yeah, cause I gotta go back now. Is it all, th all three of them, I guess? Should I save it? Oh, shit. Shit, that didn't work. What am I supposed to do? There's nothing else to do here, right? Yeah. I I guess I like have to go through it though. See, what, like, what am I supposed to do there? There are three turrets on the horizon. It's probably better just to look for a safer path. So there is a different place to go. Oh, shit. Okay. I can go back this way. I didn't know that. Well, that's good to know. Damn, nothing even in those ones, though. Kind of glad that I died there, because then I didn't have to waste my incendiary one. Nice, got some handgun there. Alright, cool, happy with that. Beep. Hola. Como esta? Alright. Oh shit. Yo. What the hell does this do? Is this supposed to like turn the thing on or? Maybe this doesn't work right now. That's what I'm gonna guess is maybe it doesn't work right now. 
Man, I hope they give us another save somewhere, because they're really putting me in the middle of nowhere, bro. At least it feels like it. Oh, shit. Alright, so where's the power go? Can I not see? I thought it told me I could see, like, infrared rights, lights and shit. Is there something I have to do to, like, put that on, or... Oh, wait. Maybe I throw fire at this stuff? Maybe? Like, what makes the most sense here? And yeah, I'm gonna set that on fire. I don't know what it, like, if I'm supposed to do this, but we're gonna see if it works. <coughs> Didn't work. Sammy, the power's on. You guys are annoying. Nice. Didn't even have to use any bullets there. That was smart on my part, honestly. I don't like the noises, bro. I'm just being honest. Whatever. Fuck you, dude. <clears throat> oh hell yeah oh and an antique coin nice I'm not gonna buy the health thing right away I think I kind of want the reload thing honestly because the health has been fine it seems honestly There he goes. Hell yeah. Okay, so for anything else, I got the shotgun ready. Oh shit, is that a... Okay, am I supposed to go another way then? Or can I, like, destroy this thing? Does not seem like I can destroy it. Is there, like... Oh, yeah, there is another way. Maybe. Yeah, nah, go back. supposed to find another way or am I just supposed to run past these because I'm just gonna try
regular guy or no? I don't hear anybody else, honestly. Damn, it still says I'm fine, too. That's crazy. I was getting blasted, too. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to grab in here. I forgot I have the coins, too. I think that's doing a lot. Maybe both directions, honestly. I don't know. Come on, where's he at? Come on, give me one. Oh shit. Okay, so it couldn't see me until then. Bro, this is like a crazy maze if I'm being honest. Like, this is wild. Come on, bro. Every fucking time. Wait, can I do this maybe? So can't see me? No. I think I just have to deal with the damage. Like genuinely. Part of his sadistic nature. Okay, I ran through here already. Like, for sure. So now I'm curious where it's taking me. It. What's good, Playboy? Am I just going on the back side of all this now? Like, uh, bro, I am so lost, if I'm being honest. I have no idea what's going on here, bro. Look at this shit. Look at all of this. What the hell is all of this? This is ridiculous. Where the fuck am I? Like, bro, just now. Just now. This is really a nightmare. Honestly. really gonna do me like that yeah boy what's up I'm trying to get blap blap blapped up what's good Ew. I didn't know you were alive still. Bro, come on.
I just want to come back here and make sure I didn't miss anything. Right? I didn't. Bro. Bro, how many bullets are you gonna take, brother? Do they just keep regenerating? Like, is this on me? Oh, shit. Can I finally get out of here? Is this finally the way out, bro? I've been begging for it. Holy shit. That was intense. Okay, thank God we're finally back, dude. That was like non-stop. Whew. Let's go get a save in real quick, huh? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need one more. I think I'm gonna go for the reload. I'm just gonna prep them right now. Because I really think our health has been fine. We have six med kits right now. I'm barely using them. Reloading speed increased. Yeah, I mean, this seems like the better deal to me. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That means that we can finally go to where... The night vision thing is. But I think we're going to end it off there, guys. Um, going to try and split this up into three episodes, maybe. Maybe two. We'll just see how far we get next time. But I've really enjoyed this so far. I really think the different weapon set and like the different HUD system is interesting for the DLC. So I'm kind of curious to see how deep how much deeper this goes. I mean, I, I didn't know any of this lore, so I'm very excited to get something new out of Resident Evil for me personally. So I really appreciate you joining me and getting to experience that with me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you got any comments or concerns, maybe I missed something, or any ideas for any future videos and series in general, go ahead and make sure to comment, comment those. And last but not least, most important of all, if you really enjoyed the video, hit that sub button. That way you actually get to see the future videos I put out and any of the back catalog too. Anyway, see you guys next time.